Whoa! Wow. Shit! You know how um, you should have a dash cam when you're driving? Well, you need a bloody dash cam or a chest cam when you're walking on the roads. Yeah, I just got hit. Okay, I was only clipped by their wing mirror on my arm. Uh, no harm done, I think it might be a I might be a little bit bruised. Don't know yet. Um, but it didn't really hurt. Um, moved their wing mirror. But here's the thing, they didn't stop. Now there's a loud bang as I hit their wing wheel, or as they hit me, but they didn't stop. Um, if I'd had my, if I'd had my GoPro on uh, on my chest running, um, I would have got their registration number and uh, recorded the whole thing. But um, I spoke to a mate on the phone. He said he reported to the police. And I went, report what? What can I tell them? There's nothing to tell. Um, so, yeah, bastards that just don't care and pass really close to pedestrians inside the road. I'm going to be running my uh, my GoPro from the tower on the next time it happens, and I'm pretty sure it's going to happen again. Um, yeah, you're going to get done. I haven't got back and calmed down. I thought to myself or I began to wonder, was I in any way at fault? Did I do something wrong that um, caused that? Or, or could have, or is there something I could have done? So, went onto the gov, the gov.uk website, onto the, um, where you will find the highway code, and I looked up a few of the rules on there. Rule, and the, on the highway code the rules actually start off dealing with pedestrians and their responsibilities um and so um which is quite good means i didn't have to look too far so so i started off with rule two if there is no pavement keep to the right hand side of the road check i was doing that so you can see oncoming traffic i've not always known that i've known that i don't know, probably taught that in the in the cub scouts um and you should take extra care and be prepared to walk in single file, um, especially on narrow roads and in poor light, keep close to the side of the road. Well, I was as close as I could. I had um, uh, one dog up on the grass um, and another dog right next to me. So I wasn't over as far as I could possibly go, but I was over as far as I could go. So yeah, rule two, check, rule two, check, did that. Rule three, help other road users to see you wear or carry something light colored bright or fluorescent in poor daylight conditions well it wasn't poor daylight conditions but let me show you i was wearing this say hello ellie no she's not gonna say hello i was wearing this i trust me so yeah so yeah i could easily be seen so uh that's rule three covered off um going further on deals with um animals and rule 56 specifically dogs do not let a dog out on the road on its own yeah obviously um keep it on a short lead when walking on the pavement road or next to the path shared blah 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 um yeah they were on a really short lead i mean the both dogs were right next to me um they're huskies they're unreliable for um staying in a straight line unless they're running um even then they're not staying <laughs> even then they can't be relied on um but um yeah they, they were on the inside of me and on a very very short lead there was no way they, they could go anywhere so we look further down in the amongst the rules and finally we come to rule 206 um, and this is specifically aimed to the car drivers and it says drive carefully and slowly when 
number of items, but one of those items is approaching pedestrians on narrow rural roads without a footwear or without a footway or footpath. Drive carefully and slowly. I well, the lady had slowed down. I'll say it was a lady. I think it was a lady. I'm pretty sure it was a lady. Um, the lady had slowed down. But um, and it goes on to say, always slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. Well, she wasn't prepared to stop. Uh, there was another car coming the other direction, um, and she was only prepared to squeeze in between the two of us. Um, and it goes on to say, only prepared to stop if necessary, giving them plenty of room as you drive past. Okay, there we go. Plenty of room. Now, I hate phrases like that. Plenty of room. What is plenty of room? Um, on the continent, um, the, the, I believe there's actually a, um, a specific distance you have to pass cyclists and pedestrians. I think it's one and a half metres. Um, if you know different, let me know down in the comment below. I'm fairly certain it is um, one and a half metres. I remember seeing a sign or something. But um, yeah, traffic does give you a really wide berth um, in France and in Spain. Um, probably other countries as well, but I don't know. But certainly in France and Spain. Um, but yeah what is plenty of room i mean i need plenty i mean i need a little bit of extra room than somebody just walking on their own because i've got the two dogs and they they can be a bit skittish and they can suddenly swing their back out into the road um or they could uh, trip me up and i would need some space to fall i don't know that that term is is arguable and i'm sure a um I'm sure if, if something like this went to court that a judge would decide what is plenty of room in that. So I suppose it's quite good rather than a specific amount saying plenty because different circumstances. One person walking on their own who's young and fit would require less plenty of room than uh, a much older person um, who's a bit dodgy on their feet or um, somebody with two huskies pulling them around you know would require even more room i don't know so um yeah so anyway in a nutshell no i wasn't at fault in any shape or form in fact i'd done everything i could to make that safe it was entirely that car driver was an innocent woman I'm really I'm pretty sure it was a woman but i'm really not 100 percent certain um it was that car driver's fault you know um and why they didn't stop is uh, I, the, the, the bang was loud the bang was loud and I know from experience of hitting my wing mirror when driving a car and hitting a wing mirror on something it's even louder inside the vehicle so she knew damn well she hit something so why did they not stop to check maybe because I wasn't on the floor um, I don't know. So I start using the GoPro every day. And then this happens. Oh, way too close. In women, drivers. I mean, that was close. That shows you just how close they get. And then this happens. Whoa! Ah. Fortunately, I wasn't badly hurt, although I did sustain a bit of a bruise to my wrist. You can't really see it, it just feels bruised, looks a little bruised. I won't bother to show you, it's pointless. Anyway, I dialed 101 for the police non-emergency service, because it was an emergency, it was not an emergency. And after 45 minutes of being on hold, I gave up. I reported it online and uh, I got an email back saying um, they'll review it and let me know in the next 10 days, we'll see. Um, so, I don't even know if I've heard back from them, but it's a clear case of hit and run. Anyway, look guys, have a great Christmas. Um, I'm going to skip next week's video, because it's Christmas week. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Um, 
uh, I don't know. So I'm just not even going to do next week's. And um, I'll come back in January. Um, and um, update you on whether I've heard from the police or not. And I'll oh, speak it going off. And I'll speak. And I will see you then. Have a good one. Merry Christmas. A Happy New Year. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate those. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them down below. Um, I read every single one of them and uh, try to answer everyone. Until next time, me and Sash. Bye bye, bye bye. Say bye bye, Sash. You're a good girl. See, she says goodbye. Before you go, if you're thinking of full timing yourself but want to know more, or you just enjoy a really good read, check out my book. It's available now in Amazon, which tells of our story of how we started full timing, very suddenly, with no planning, and some of the hilarious consequences of that.